Hi there, this is Corazon from CoreGraphics.com. What I'm going to show you here is how to start a page number and wherever you want that page number to be in InDesign. First, you create a new document. This is going to be for web. It's going to be five pages. And they're all just going to be uh, single pages. So I left this unchecked. And it's going to be 800 by 622 pixels. All right. Okay, first thing that I do, that I always do, is I add the graphics on the pages. And all the graphics that I add in the pages, they're all going to go to this layer right here. So, I'm going to name this layer Graphics. So, let's begin adding the pictures. I'm just going to add random pictures here. This is actually a design that I made that was uh, printed on the bus. Uh, this is uh, a 3D product visualization of a cell phone, a T-Mobile cell phone that I made. It's a 3D architectural scene that I made for a client. And some graphic design some cool graphic design. So I'm just adding pictures here on the pages, random pictures here. Okay, so now that we have all of the pictures here on the pages, it's time to start adding the page number. But before we do that, we're going to create a layer. Now this layer is going to contain all of the page numbers for each of the pages here. So we're going to name this page numbers. Uh, this is very important. Make sure the page numbers layer is on top of the graphics layer. If this is below the graphics layer, what's going to happen is if you add the page numbers, you're not going to be able to see the page numbers because the graphics, the photos, are on top of the page numbers. So make sure it's on top of the graphics. Make sure the page numbers are right on top of the graphics so you will be able to view the page numbers that you're going to put on top of the graphics. Alright, so next thing is we go to the pages and then you go to the master. Double click on the master square here. Then you're going to go to the type tool. You're going to drag, drag the rectangle. I want this to be pretty big so you're going to be able to see the number that I'm putting here. Go to type, insert special character, markers, current page number. I'm going to make this a different font, a font that is readable to most people. Arial. Make this bold and I'm going to change the color, add a little stroke here. Okay. Now let's go back to the pages. Let's look at the pages. And now you see the page numbers here that's been added automatically for each of the page. Starting page number one, on number one, two, two, three, four, and five. Now let's say I don't want any numbers on this page and on this page. I want to start numbering on this photo right here. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select these two pages where I don't want the numbers to be. I'm going to, well, before I do that, I have to select all of the pages first. Select all the pages that you have here. Select this, hold shift, and then select the last page. Right click. Make sure, allow documents pages to shuffle, allow selected spreads to shuffle. Make sure those are unchecked. You don't want those to shuffle. All right. Okay. So you go back to the pages where you don't want the numbers to go. So this and this, I don't want those numbers here. So I'm going to select these here. Right click. Go to Apply Master to Pages. Go to the drop down menu and select None. See, currently it was on A Master. And the master contained the pages, num the page numbers. 
So you don't want that there. So I'm going to put it on none. All right. So now you, you see that you don't see any numbers here anymore. And the numbers you only see on this pictures. This, this, and that. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to, let's say I want the number to start here. I want number one to be here, number two, and number three. So I'm going to go to this starting point here. As you can see, these two don't have the letter A anymore. That means this letter A right here, A master, begins on this page up to this page. So you're going to select this right here. And this is the page where I want the numbering to occur. So I'm going to select that, right click, numbering and section options, start page numbering at, let's say I want this to be page, let's say page two. Initially I said page one, but I want it to be page two. Ah, change the part. Okay. Okay, this is going to pop up. Um, just press OK. Now, you see, okay, starts on page 2, 3, 4, just like how I want it to be. And these two don't have any numbers on it. So that, folks, is how you start a page number wherever your heart desires. I hope you learned from this lesson, and I'm going to make more tutorials for you guys to check out. All right. All right.